Supposedly a pedophile and done some other extremely bad stuff, and so they have um, vigilantes out looking for him and the police, and the instructions are he needs to be killed. Where am I open the gate? She's living back in the field, you know, where we went to visit her. But she's alone. And this guy who's wanted in everybody's hunting him with guns is on the loose. She's afraid. She has two small children, a four-year-old and a five-month old. So she's afraid. So she came to us, and I said, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what, how we can help her. The only thing I could think of was to put her in a place that was surrounded by other people. And that's in this little community right here. So they called, and there is a house available, and they, she does have no people around her, which is not a total stranger. And the guys are, who finally finished work and are over playing pool, they yanked him back out and said, guys, get the truck. Oh, I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. She came with a great big smile on her face and she came, you know, from the village. Now she's staying in the village and I asked her how everything was going. She said it was wonderful and she feels safe. And the fact that she came for a church service is very special.